Hello everyone, welcome to episode 7 of Transcend with M. This episode will be dedicated to chat about how can we convert negative energy into positive energy and use it to our advantage. Um, this topic is very important to me, not only because I'm currently learning how to shift my mindset, which we talked about a couple of weeks ago, but I think it's important for all of us to learn how to always look into the brighter side. Mm -hmm. Now, since I am not an expert on this topic, as you can see, I brought someone here very special. Uh, you can see him. Uh, his name is Mo, uh, and he's going to be able to guide us uh, a little bit into the why, the how, and the when. And I would like you to introduce formally Muvaris Amat. Is that right, Mo? Did I pronounce oh. it correctly? Almost there. Almost, almost there. It's... there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but it works. <laughs> uh, Mo is a graduate uh, with a degree on accounting and finance. Uh, he's a team lead at Edge Service and Solutions, uh, residing in Pakistan. Um, now, a couple of fun facts about Mo, uh, which I love about him, is like me, he loves dancing. Uh, he's Absolutely. extremely funny. Um, we were going to be a, do, doing a lot of laughter here. Uh, so we're probably <laughs> laughing sure. more than when we're talking, but that's okay. Um, mm -hmm. and he has a deep love for golfing, which I don't even know how to start swinging. So you might have to teach me, you know, some of that. Um, now Mo and I, you might think that we have these long, you know, relationship, but we don't. We only met uh, about a month and a half ago. Um, but he has blown me away uh, with certain aspects of his leadership. And I'll leave it up to him to tell us more about him, his leadership style, and what do you enjoy doing most from, you know, your leadership and um, what Tell us, tell us more about what, what, what are your, what is your background, right? Absolutely. Thank you so much, Monica, for such a kind introduction to your audience. I am, first of all, I'm super excited and I feel very honored to be your guest here today. So yes, I do love golf and I do understand it might be one of those difficult games, uh, sports, which you are unable to pick up. And trust me, it actually is. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, I currently work um, as a team lead at Edge Services and Solution. Uh, yes, I do live in Pakistan. And as you can see, I am a huge fan of traveling to the north and visiting the tallest mountains in the world, camping in the wild. So I'm a person who is always on the go, but one thing I make sure is that I get my work done as well. So I have this motto in life that, you know, you work hard and then you play hard. So wherever you go, you're going to see my Slack status, my Facebook status. It's always going to be after a few days, work hard, play hard. Yeah. So <laughs> you, you could say that is the gist of who Mubaris really is. Someone yeah. who puts in a lot of hard work. And plus, you know, there is some people believe that, you know, you shouldn't be a workaholic or anything. But yeah. if you have a good balance between work and fun, oh man, you can really enjoy life and you can actually get that feeling of self-actualization, which is very important. I, I, I agree with you. I mean, I've been struggling with that for many years and I think after eight years or so, I am starting to get some balance in my life. Uh, I'm always very dedicated and I'm, I, I, I have a hard time finding that balance. Uh, but after you know, having a couple weeks off um, from one, from transitioning from one, um, you know, job to another, um, I think I realized I'm like, oh my God, I've been missing on a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, For sure. Um, For sure. So yeah, I, I, I totally agree with that. And I think it just, it just makes you a, a more productive person overall, right? Mm -hmm. So the reason we're here uh, is because the other day you shared a very motivational speech you gave to your team with me. 
And that speech was not only about the topic we're able, you know, we're going to be jumping into, but more about awareness, personalities. So I found it fascinating because for most of your employees, this is their first job, right? So mm -hmm. it is almost like teaching and educating on behaviors that are foreign to them. And I guess I'm interested to hear from you what are the challenges that you encounter the most on a daily basis? And what do you get from giving all these motivational speeches? Like, what is the response? Tell me more Absolutely. about that. Absolutely, for sure. I would love to. So, you know how you mentioned that, you know, you were, uh, you, you find my leadership skills, yeah. something which is out of the box. Yeah. So. For me, I have this strong belief that, you know, if you want to grow as an individual, you have to elevate the people around you. Mm -hmm. So being a team lead and managing a few people at edge and also, you know, I have the tendency to take some initiatives. So yeah. this was part of one of the initiatives in which I wanted to help my peers, the, the people I work with on a daily basis to help yeah. them grow. Yeah. And believe it or not, the first step to personal and professional growth is self-awareness. You need to know who you really are before you start growing. So yeah. the challenges that I do face on a daily basis, you could say, is uh, the topics that I like to talk about, they sometimes do become sensitive. And yeah. you have to be able to gauge your audience if if they're, you know, if they're ready to listen to such sensitive topics, are they open minded enough to actually digest things? Yeah. So for me, uh, over the few years, I've, uh, I've given this session uh, at a few different organizations. Yeah. Um, so I've really learned the art of knowing who you're talking to. And yeah. then according to that, you have to adjust the way you execute your session. So you can have all the material in the world, but execution matters the most. Yeah. So in my case, I do understand we have a lot of fresh graduates who are, you know, this is their first job. And for them getting a talk on such topics, I do feel it is a life changing session as well. Yeah. But it actually, you know, they, they get to know themselves mm -hmm. in a true sense. So, yeah. you know, there were a few topics that I touched base upon was, uh, let me, I'm going to point one topic out, which was extremely sensible, uh, sensitive, I'm going to say, which it's, it's part of the perception biases that we have in life. Yeah. So there's a perception bias, which is known as the blind spot bias, yeah. which is also known as the bias bias. Yeah. So that bias, it, you know, it occurs in your life when you do not accept the fact that you're biased, even though deep down inside, you know you are biased. Because to be very honest, each and every individual is biased in one way or another. But it's, you have to accept the fact. You have to accept mm -hmm. your mistakes in order to grow. So these, these are a few challenges, you know, uh, given uh, fresh graduates, you know, they're really happy and jolly people, you know, they have their first job, they're getting their yeah. first paycheck, super excited to step into the corporate world. And then they get a lecture on something of the sort of, you know, perception biases, you don't know yourself. They're this like, is I'm how you should... <laughs> I'm, I'm out of this. And then, and then once you talk about converting negative energy to positive energy, they're like, yeah, I thought I was a positive person, or I'm optimistic. Yeah. But then so this, you could say, was a sort of a reality check for a lot of the audience yeah. I had in the session before. Yeah. Well, let's chat about that. Let's chat about the energy. That's what we're here for. You know, that sometimes coming to the door, you know, right? I'm young. I prefer to sleep till like 9 a.m., you know, <laughs> but I, I work here. I'm, I'm walking with an attitude like, oh, I haven't had my coffee today. Um, so let's just start granular, you know, tell me how do we pivot, right? Negative energy into positive energy and how we use it to our advantage. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, you know, first thing first, we need to realize that number one, every individual 
is a different person. Mm -hmm. Two individuals cannot be the same person at all. We also need to empathize with each other that, you know, yeah. everyone goes through different ups and downs in life. We have our down moments, mm -hmm. but you know, it's all about rising from the ashes. You have to be a phoenix. You have to rise from the ashes. Oh, I so, love that. Very Harry Pottery. <laughs> uh, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> that was, that was my era. Trust me. I'm not that old. I watched all of those. <laughs> So moving forward, um, I, you know, this was one topic which I came up in a very organic way. Yeah. It's not something that I Googled and that something I got inspired with. It was something that I learned through my whole golf career mm -hmm. because since an early age, I picked up golf. Um, I played as the number one varsity player at Ames High School in Iowa. Yeah. And the interesting fact was that I was the youngest player on the team. Yeah. Uh, so that was the start of my journey. And then I came back to Pakistan. I played for the Pakistan team yeah. on more than 10 different occasions at international events. Yeah. And then eventually I, uh, you know, became a professional golfer. So, you know, going through all this, I do wonder, Sad, it's a very individualistic yeah. uh, sport. But we, yeah. we did have teams. We had the Ames High School team. We had the Pakistan mm -hmm. team. So it was very important for me to learn from all those different experiences that I went through. Yeah. So I sort of, you know, uh, got, you know, recalled all the experiences I went through and jotted down a few points, yeah. which I would like to share, which has helped me immensely throughout my life. Yeah. So number one, there is a acronym I'm known you. as... I'm taking notes. <laughs> 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 no, I know no, I'm not recording, but I'm a I'm a note hoarder, so I have to mm -hmm. take notes on this. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you should, you should, you know. But even though you know, I'm I'm so happy to be able to work with you and see your positive energy. So yeah. we we really we really have this good vibe matching. So yeah. first thing first, uh, you have to look at the opportunity not the challenge. So whenever you face yourself in a difficult situation, you need to put, yeah. you know, you have to program your mind that, hey, you know, this is an opportunity for me. And what yeah. sort of opportunity? So there is an acronym known as OTE, which mm -hmm. stands for Opportunity to Excel. Okay. In that very moment, you have the opportunity to show the world what you're really made out of. So mm -hmm. that's like the first thing um, I'm going to talk about is that, you know, you have to change your mindset, think positive that, you know, this is an opportunity and I am going to ace it. Mm -hmm. Moving on. The second thing is think like a golfer. I know I might be boasting about myself, but golfers, they are pretty stable people, even though we get super pissed while playing golf. I'm not, I'm not going to take that away from golfers. <laughs> we might be the most angry people in the world while on the golf course. <laughs> especially, especially, I'm pretty sure you might have some golfers out there if you're playing behind a slow group and they don't give, and they don't let you go through. Oh man, you lose your mind. But oh well, we're going to talk yeah. about positive stuff and about exactly. positive Positive stuff. Looks like golfers like, need some some of that, you know, conversion of energy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I feel targeted right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the second point is think like a golfer. Yeah. So when you're when you're playing golf, you you know, or any sport, uh, as a matter of fact, you have to build a certain muscle memory. Yeah. As a golfer, you play a round of 18 holes. And on one hole, you hit this perfect shot. And at that very moment, you have to remember that feeling. Like close yeah. your eyes, you have to try to, you know, just digest that feeling that you get from hitting that good shot. Mm -hmm. So what you can do from there is whenever you face a similar situation or whenever you are, you face a very difficult shot or you could say a very awkward situation in life. You must recall that one moment in life where you were able to overcome the most toughest of situations you were in. So it's basically recalling all the positive vibes you had at that moment. And believe it or not, you actually make it through that negative energy. And then you just have this positive outlook that, you know, I can do it. It's all about self-belief. Yeah. So 
honestly, if there was one word which would, you know, really be the basis of how you convert negative energy to positive energy, it mm-hmm. is all about self-belief. You must trust yourself. However, moving on, I have two more points in regards to this yeah. topic. Is basically... But uh, like, I, mm-hmm. I, I, I do believe, like, y- you have to believe in yourself. Like, you do. I did, I did a, a, so I think it was two weeks ago, I did a podcast with my daughter about mindset and her best friend. And mm-hmm. they're eight years old. So, you know, it's, what a year old can teach you, you might think that you know it all, but you really don't. Sometimes you really can figure it out. And that was one of the things that they said, in order to overcome difficult situations, you have to believe in yourself. And I think that was very powerful because if a year, an eight year old can recognize that, why we as an adult lose sight of that? Like, how is that possible? You know, and uh, it really got me thinking and now you say it and I was like, there is again, you gotta believe in yourself. Absolutely. Right. So, so you know, um, to answer that question, you know, that the, it's it's a great question. I had. Why do we lose that self belief? Yeah. It's because you know, as we progress in life, we do come upon difficult situations. We get bogged down. That you know, um, I I wasn't able to get the grades I wanted. I wasn't able to go into my dream college. Oh man, my life is so tough, yeah. and when we feel that way we really get down and we all we think about is negative energy however point number three covers that it's basically view your life as an inspirational tale and not a horror movie oh so i love that i love that inspirational tale i'm gonna believe i am freaking um i don't know maybe pocahontas or something right now Exactly. (laughs) So talking about this point is, you know, all of us, we we go through very difficult situations in life. But, you know, at the end of the day, we do make it through. We do make it through and we do show the world that what we're really made out of. We show the world that, you know, I was in that difficult situation, but I made it through. I'm on top of my game right now. You are nobody to point fingers at me because I'm an inspiration right now. Yeah. That's one mindset you can have. The other mindset you can have is, oh man, everything bad in the world has happened with with, with yeah. me. And, oh, I wish I had better luck. But you know, that's something yeah. which really puts you down. So you have to have that belief that you are setting an example for the world. That, hey, look at Monica. She had a really tough life, but look at her now. She is up there. She is, you know, she's inspiring everyone. So view yourself, view your life as an inspirational tale and not a horror movie. I think something that you, you said to, like right now that it's really um, important is um, about luck. Nothing's luck. Like you, you make your own future. You are in charge of your future. Good, bad, better or not. You are in charge of how you react to your situation and what you make out of it. So, you know, you can either feel pity for yourself or you can just pick yourself up. And regardless if it's one person that you are inspiring or maybe none, just yourself, There is always someone watching you. There is always someone that you are an example to. And just because of that one person, you have to pick up your pieces and come and and be better. Like in my case, you know, for me, everything I do is for my daughter. Like everything. Like I don't care if I have, you know, 15,000 listeners on the podcast, which I I don't. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you know no worries but, you will get you know, there the fact that she will be able in the future to listen to this and to kind of like hey oh you know my mom did that that was my mom you know my mm. mom is my inspiration or you know she'll hate me when she's a teenager and that's okay but then she'll be okay <laughs> she'll come back and she'll love me again um 
everything I do, I do for her. So I think it's really important for people to understand out there that you never know who's watching and you always have to pick up your pieces and believe on yourself and make sure that you're always portraying positivism regardless of the situation that you're in because I'm a true believer that everything that you go through in life has a purpose no matter mm -hmm. what everything Absolutely. has a purpose and it's a purpose to make you stronger day by day that's that's what I believe I don't know you but that's what I what I believe I agree with you 110 percent so you know in fact I'm going to add upon that and Monica, you already know all this, to be very honest. I don't know why I'm giving this to you. <laughs> so, no, um, I don't know at all. <laughs> so, so, so the last thing is, uh, you know, about converting negative energy into positive energy. Yeah. Whenever, again, you feel very down and out, you have to tell yourself that you were meant to be successful in life. Yeah. Self-talk is so necessary. Uh, mm -hmm. I do not know how to put enough emphasis on that. But yeah. again, just try to repeat the fact that, you know, you are meant for success because only then would you be able to pick yourself up and shine. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people say that, you know, I don't have the motivation in my, in my life to achieve things or anything. There's no one motivating me. You know, I'm not getting paid enough for anything of that sort. But you have to change that mindset. Yeah. True motivation comes from inside you. Mm -hmm. It absolutely comes from inside you. Anything that is an external motivational factor, that is, you know, it, it's, it's quite superficial. It won't last forever. But yeah. if you have your mindset that, you know, you want to achieve something in life, you know that you're going to be successful, regardless of your timeline. You know, there are a lot of people who worry about timelines like, you know, I'm getting old. It's, it's I'm too old to change my life. Oh, I'm too young. I have a lot of years in front of me. But to be very honest, we don't know how many years of our life we have. You right. have to, you have to, right. you know. You need to understand every person has their own timeline and each and every person out there is meant for success. I could not agree more. I think success also means different things to different people. And, yep. you know, unfortunately, um, I feel nowadays a lot of people confuse success with knowledge or confuse success with um being and having 10,000 followers on social media like mm -hmm. success doesn't mean you being famous or you know making seven figures a year or you know having three houses two Lamborghinis parked in the garage unfortunately that's yep. not success success is just you feeling accomplished and you feeling that you are making a difference at least for me that's what success means so mm -hmm. i think once people is able to identify what success means for them and not what success looks like on social media or other mediums out there i think people will will become happier and they will become more satisfied and they'll be able to carry on a little bit more positive energy out there um, yep, towards others um, yeah. I, I, I really love this conversation, Mo. I think we're going to pick it up after hours. <laughs> I know. We will for sure. <laughs> yeah. We'll be like tomorrow morning. It's like, Mo, how are you doing? Can we just chat for five seconds? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe like two hours later and we'll be here. Um, oh, yeah. But, you know, I, I really appreciate your time. I think, you know, we have to continue talking about these things. I think not just our generation, but the generations mm -hmm. coming after us. Um, we have to set a better example of what what success and happiness really looks like and what, you know, a, a different mentality, energy, positivism can cost on their life. So mm -hmm. my friend, um, I cannot tell you how, how proud I am to be working with you, 
to getting to know you, um, to, you know, shaking the world together. Uh, I hope you feel the same. Uh, I do. Thank you. And I think this is not going to be the last podcast we do together. I think we have a lot to talk about. Yeah, <laughs> we do. <laughs> But, you know, you know, you know that the last point you raised about society, I yeah. was like, oh god, we're we're gonna have at you least know, two or three more think, sessions on that. Yeah, <laughs> I think we have another podcast at hand that we have to prepare for. Um, so get get working on it. <laughs> <laughs> um, for sure, gonna, we're gonna have to work on that for the next few weeks. But um, again, thank you for your time tonight. I really appreciate it. Um, I know it's like, I don't know, like 7 a.m. over there uh, or something like that. It's super <laughs> early and you haven't slept. You have worked all night. Um, but hope to like just make sure that we do this again. And thank you for everything that you're doing for our society and our younger generation out there, my friend. Absolutely. Sorry about that. I guess we lost connection in between. Oh, uh, you're fine. I've been seeing you just fine. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful um, wonderful yeah. uh monica once again thank you so much for this opportunity you have no idea how much this means to me you are to be very honest you're playing a huge part in achieving one of my lifelong goals is which is actually making a difference in the world and thank you so much for this platform uh it really means a lot thank you yeah we'll change the world together let's see how many people we can reach right Absolutely, absolutely. All right. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you so much for attending um, to Dice podcast. If you don't follow us yet, just go into Instagram at Transcend with M, or you can find us on LinkedIn at Monica Duani. You can also find Mo in LinkedIn as well and Instagram. So we'll be posting some details about that. And absolutely. if you want to change the world with us, just reach out and we'll make sure we give you the platform to do so. Thank you so much and have a great night.